we're going to be doing this big old thing. This is 20 by 16, I believe. And these are the colors we're using. We're using pale yellow, Prussian blue, cobalt green for one side. And then on the other side, so we're using cool colors. And on this side, we're, we're using really warm colors. So we're using orange, medium magenta, and cadmium yellow. Um, yeah. And I've put a little bit of, I put a little teal in the Prussian blue and a little more green in the cobalt green. And over here in the orange, these are all Dr. P.H. Martins, by the way. These are India inks. And I find that you can just add these right into any of the, any of your paints and they come out beautiful. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is making sure that your consistency is right. All right, so I put some of the orange in the orange and some magenta in the medium magenta. So now we have some like super rad, hyper pigmented colors. Now the thing about Floetrol is when you're pouring them, they, um, it doesn't, uh, it makes everything opaque, like uh, slightly whiter, even though it dries clear and is completely inert. And after it dries, it's completely archival. But while you're pouring it, like I do on YouTube, it makes it slightly opaque. No, wrong word again. White cast. I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but you know, you know what I'm saying. But for the purpose of the video, I darkened up the colors anyway. It's not going to change the final product, but it looks better. And so when you watch it, you'll be like, oh, that's what it's going to look like, because this is what it's going to look like. And um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to cover this whole thing in white. Then we're going to mix our cool colors together and then our warm colors together. Well, this yellow isn't really a coolish, but it's a low energy yellow, so I figured why not. And uh, this green, I put a touch of blue in to cool it down. And of course, blue. And then on this side, uh, we're going to blow that with the, uh, with the air compressor and this one with the air compressor. And so we should have a meeting of the two warms and cools in the middle with uh, the cool feather down and the warm feather up. And so I think it should be pretty awesome. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, I'm going to pause this video, cover the whole thing in white, and then I'm going to put together our cups. All right, guys. See you in a second. Oh, hi, guys. I need the pouring area. And this one, I should be able to get more push from a higher thing. Just because the other ones, I don't like it. Okay, so let's go. Hmm. Pour them in the middle? Yeah, let's pour them in the middle. I'm not sure if that was a good decision or a poor decision. I'm learning. Oh crap, I just got my computer. Well, that's not nice. I really hope I started this video back up again. Okay, good, I did. Oh man, that is gorgeous. That is freaking gorgeous. Oh, okay. This one looks like it's got so much depth. I don't know if you can see this on the phone, but with the naked eye, a lot of this looks green here, except this blue really pulls it down. I don't see a lot of the, uh, of the yellow, but I do see these lighter bits. And I wonder if that is light I don't know what that is anyway. But um, let's mix these two colors in the middle a little bit, kind of get some cross contamination. Huh. 
and not pushing nearly as hard. Ah! Hmm, I love the way they look like they're pushing into each other. Maybe even fighting. You know, oh, it reminds me of, you know when you've got something you want to say, and then the cool voice of reason is slowing the crazy part of you down? Like, not that any of y'all have a crazy part, and not that I have a crazy part, but we do. But, um, maybe the, <laughs> maybe it's like the, the cool emotion calming down the crazy I don't know Oh, that looks more like fire now that it's a little wispier. Okay, so let's pull in, pull out our palette knives. Boom, we're gonna remove some of these extra oopsies. And this is why I mixed my paint a little thinner so it'll self-level. Okay, so you know how I've been using these Brie Reese paints? Um, they're heavy body paints. And I think that the, the um, pigment is rough ground. Not like, I don't know if that makes sense, but in paints you have some some pigments that are, some paints that are pigment based, they have finer ground or rougher ground pigments. And I think these Brie Reese ones are, are rougher ground pigments. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. Just because it feels like I'm constantly fighting to get these little, uh, little bitty things in my paint out. And I, I literally stirred for like 20 minutes on these six colors. And with the current ones I've had, this, well, probably a little bit more than 20 minutes, to be honest. I don't know. Kind of lost track of time, but. Um, okay. So, if I had to do it over, I don't know if I would buy them again. I mean, I bought them on clearance, and they were super cheap, so that's fine. But I don't think that I would, I would purchase them again. If it was just... Uh, and especially full price. All right, let's get the torch in here. And I found a trick. You know how my my torch has gone ghetto? I got paint in there and now it doesn't light. So you put the thing in there sideways and... I don't really think we're gonna get any more cellular effects, especially because the paints are so thin. Very good. Okay. I is done. Oh, 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 oh. Couple announcements. All right, so this next video that comes out will be all about how to set up your own YouTube channel. So make sure you check out next video. If you've made it this far, you're the best, by the way. Um, oh, and shout out to um, who was it? It was Nicaragua. All my peeps in Nicaragua watched the entire video. You don't click out. So, awesome. I might do a video entirely in Spanish just for y'all. Um, but yeah, they, they watch 100% of the video. Oh, and the... Uh, so for the contest, and there's a suggestion box on what would you like to see more of or less of. Um, if you put titties in there, I'm going to delete that entry. Um, this is, I don't know, ton of, tons of people put that in there, and I'm like, mm. some people put jokes in there instead, 
you you're great. I, I left it in. If you said nothing, that's you're perfect. I left that in. If you said I don't know, that's fine. But but uh, overly juvenile things, or uh, what do you want to see more of? Uh, CS:GO or uh, Minecraft? I don't play either one. No. I don't play either one of those. So those got deleted. And uh, so we've got four more days left. And if you haven't uh, entered in this contest yet, we're giving away a uh, Logitech uh, C920. And it's a, uh, a full HD recording uh, video cam to get you up and running on your own YouTube channel, if you're into that sort of thing. Or maybe you want to upgrade off of a cell phone or, I don't know, whatever. But, um, yeah, that's all I can think of at this very moment. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I'm really thankful that I can do this and have a whole bunch of people I like talking to and... Uh, it's good. I'm a really people, people person, so I need people and I couldn't paint alone. It would be, it would be next to torture. I'm like a golden retriever. So anyway, not that you cared or wanted to know, but that's what it is. And, um, other than that, I ain't got no more. All right, guys. Peace out.